In this lesson, we'll be looking at SQL and we're looking how to do processing in SQL. And this is a part of the Information Technology Grade 12 CAPS syllabus. Now, this SQL, or as we say in South Africa, SQL, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but this stands for Structured Query Language. Now, this is a special type of language that is used in many databases. And we use it to query and manipulate data in the database. Now, we're going to get to the manipulation in other videos, but we're going to focus mainly on the querying in these videos. Um, but just to give you an idea, if you ever watch a sports game or sports event and that, and all of a sudden on the screen, they'll show up all these statistics like this player has scored this many points against this team in so many games. And you must think, like, where do they get that information from? How do they get all that specific information? Well, all that information about the players and, and what games they've played and how many points were scored and all that are stored in databases with tons of data. And they will use some sort of SQL statement or query that will then simplify that data or filter it to just show the information that you want based on certain criteria or conditions. And they will probably use something like an SQL statement, which we are going to learn. And the one that we are going to look at, which which is to do with querying, is the select statement. So we're going to see how do we use a select statement in SQL. Before we get to that, let's have a look at the database that we're going to use in this example. Um, we've got a CD database, and that's the name CD underscore database, and it's going to contain details about CDs and the owners of that CD. So the, the one table that is in this database is called an owner table, which has, as I said, the details of the people who own the CDs. We're not going to look too much at that now. We'll look at it in other videos, um, but for today's uh, videos, we're just going to look at the CD table, which has the details of those CDs. So let's have a look. There we go. We've got the CD ID that these are the different fields, the artist, the seed name, the genre, the replacement value, and the owner ID. As you can see, that owner ID at the end is related to the owner table, but we will get to that in other videos when we deal with multiple uh, tabled databases. For now, we're just going to focus on this table, the CD table. So let's look at the structure of our SQL statement or the select statement. Okay, The, the key parts of a select statement. There are two main parts that you must have in a select statement and that is the select part which is where you specify what fields you want to display. So as we had in the CD database, we want in the CD table, we want to look at the CD ID or the CD's name or the genre or, or the replacement value, all those details. You specify here which fields you want to display. You don't have to display all of them, you can just specify the ones that you want to see. But if you do want to see all of the fields, but you don't want to write them all out, you can use a star, which is the equivalent of all fields. So I can either say select star, which means select all the fields, or I can say select CD ID, comma, CD name, comma, genre to get just those particular fields. The next part that you need is you need to tell the SQL statement from which table am I getting this information from? Because as I said, there's two tables in this database, so which one must I get these fields from? Must I get it from the CD table or from the owner table? And here we use the from statement and we'll say from and then the name of the table that contains those fields. So I can say select CD ID, comma CD name from the CD table. Okay. Now that will basically just show me everything that's in that table based on what I want to see. Now a lot of the time you will have a, a third part which is the WHERE clause and this is where we list the conditions or the filters that we're going to apply to that data. So if we want specific data, maybe we want all the, the, the CD artists whose name begins with an S or we want all the, the CDs where the replacement value is more than equal to 100 Rand. Then we specify those conditions or filters in the WHERE clause. So let's get to a few examples. So we're going to start with our CD uh, table that we got in our CD database and we're going to start with a very simple basic query starting off with. We're going to start with this one which says select star from CD. It's going to be basically showing me everything that's in the CD table. So how do I do that? Well we're going to go to an access database and here we have our access database. As you can see, there's the CD table, there's the owner table, and here you can see the CD table. Now, 
although this content is covered in Delphi, we, I'm going to show you all the queries in SQL first so that you can test them out and see how they work. And then there'll be other videos which will show you how to use the, those SQL statements in Delphi. So for now, let's just focus plainly on the SQL part. Now, to test your SQL statements, you can go to Create, and we're going to go to Query Design. Okay, and it'll pop something like this. I'm going to just close this part, and I'm going to have a query with nothing, and I'm going to click on this SQL part over there. It will take me to the SQL code for this query. So there you can see, I can write, it really said select, and they put a semicolon. They normally put a semicolon just to say well, that's the end of the query. So let's start. We're going to say select star from CD. Please note that SQL is not case sensitive, so that you can write them in capitals and small letters. It'll still work. So I run, I have my SQL code there, and then I click on the run button to execute that SQL statement. And there we go. It gives me all the data. There's 250 records. It's basically show me everything from the CD table. Now let's try another SQL statement. Let's try to look at narrowing that information that is displayed. Let's say I don't want to see everything. I just want to see the artist and the genre of all the CDs in the CD table. So in Axis, I could either go and create a whole new query, and I could save this one, but I'm just going to click on Views and go back to the SQL view, and I'm going to change that star to Artist, comma, Genre. If you make a spelling mistake, then something will pop up saying it will ask for data from that particular field, and that's a, a good clue as to why it's a, a spelling mistake. I'll actually make a spelling mistake just now just to show you. There we go. We've got all 250 records there, and there you can see the artist and the genre. Let's try make a spelling mistake just to show you what it will look like. If I type genre, let's say it's genres, and I try to run it like that, It'll pop up with something like this saying, please enter a value for genres because it doesn't know what genres is. So if you see something like this, then you know that you've probably made a spelling mistake. So there we go. So select only the artist and the genre from the CD table. Now let's get into some queries where we're going to filter the data or have specific data only. Let's say we want all the data from the CD, but we only want those CDs where the replacement value is 120 Rand or whatever currency it is. So let's modify this query again. We're going to take that out. We want all the details. So select star from CD, but now we're going to add the where clause where the replacement value is equal to 120. Now there I've made a silly mistake. Hopefully it'll be okay if I just write that. Let's run it. And there we go. There you can see the replacement value is 120 for these records. And you'll see there are only 65 being displayed now. Not all 250 because we only want those that replacement value is equal to 220, oh, 120. Sorry. And there it shows all the fields. If I had said select artists and genre, it would have only shown me the artists and genre of those that's, whose replacement value was 120. Okay, now just like we can use equal to signs in our conditions, we can also use greater than, less than, not equal to, greater than, equal to, not equal, to, greater, less than, equal to, um, all those types of options. So let's take a situation exactly the same as the first, the previous one, um, but instead of equal to 120, we're going to say greater than 120. So we can see there are 65 records with the equal to 120. If we go to SQL view, let's change that to a greater than there obviously should be more than 65 options then and there we go it still pop up here with a the number there's 136 of them that are greater than 60 or 120 rand replacement value and there you can see all of them okay now with those filters or those um, conditions that we placed, they were numerical conditions where the, the field that we were looking at for our condition was a number. So it's very easy to say where it's equal to 120 or greater than 120. But let's look at text. What happens if I want something to equal a particular text value? Um, so for that, we're going to do a SQL statement where we're going to select from CD and we only want the genres that say the word rock. 
or that have the word rock in it. Um, so it must only be rock. It cannot be rock something else. It must just be the word, exactly the word rock. Uh, so you'll notice there we use double quotes for that. So we need to have quotes around our text if we're going to refer to text. So if we go back to our SQL view, we're going to replace, oh, excuse the button, change replacement value, and we're going to say genre equals to rock. Now remember, it can't be just the word rock. We must put double quotes around it. So that because we are quote, if we don't put double quotes around it, it will think that it's a field name that we are referring to. So let's run it and see if it works. And there we go. We can see there are, when it pops up, 51 records which have a genre rock as the CD type. Now, what happens if we want the ones that aren't equal to rock? So what is the not equal to? For those of you who know Delphi and most things in computer languages, they use the um, less than, greater than sign combination as a not equal to symbol. Um, so there we can see that symbol for where the genre is not equal to rock. So if we go back to the SQL view, and we'll change that equal to sign to a... It looks almost like a diamond. So the way I remember it is I just think of Rihanna and shine bright like a diamond. Whenever you say not equal to. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, so let's run it. There we go. And 199, which makes sense because there's 250 records. And we saw that there were 51 records that had the word rock in it. And yeah, we have 199. So it makes sense because that totals up to 250. So there are all of them that don't have the word rock. Do you notice though... It, there are some genres that have the word rock in it, but it doesn't say the word rock by itself completely. So we'll do, in other videos, we'll look how do we find the word rock somewhere in the genre. We'll look at that in another video. So these are the queries we've started off with. We're going to learn some more queries in the other videos. In part two, we'll do some more advanced queries. Um, so looking at these, remembering that we have our select statement followed by the from followed by the where. That's the order you must put in. The select tells you which fields you want to display. If you want to display everything, then you put a star. Um, the from part tells you which table you want to get this information from. And the where is where you put your conditions or your criteria. For example, I only want to see the replacement value equal to 120 or the genre equal to rock. For more videos on SQL, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like, leave us comments. We'd love to hear from you. Um, all the information you'll need about SQL will be on there, as, long, as well as other stuff from um, Delphi components, as well as SQL, uh, SQL, Excel, and some theoretical stuff. So please go to our channel and follow us on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way. The examples from today's video come from the Grade 12 Delphi eNotes from Study Opportunities. This is for this is available in 2014. In 2015, uh, the Study Opportunities will be releasing a textbook which covers the Grade 12 CAP syllabus. If your teacher is interested in these textbooks, they can go to the website listed over here.